Now, if you want to take your business to the next level and step beyond the limitations of a standard diode laser, then you're going to have to start looking at some new tools. And one of the tools that will be high on that list is a CNC like this one behind me. Now CNCs range from a couple of hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. And I would say you don't want either of those ends of the, of the spectrum. You want something in the middle. And in this video, I'm going to talk about this one. This is the Prover XL 4030 V2 from Sane Smart and Gen Mitsu. And in this video, I'm going to put it through its paces. I'll show you what it can do. And I will say with reasonable certainty that you are going to be shocked. So stick around. Hey, it's Steve here and welcome back to the workshop. Now, Sane Smart reached out to me a while ago and asked me if I was interested in testing this CNC and putting it up for a review. And as my goal is to help people, I thought it would be useful to bring this to your attention. And you can decide for yourself if you're in the market for a CNC, if you want to get one of these. Now, the Prover XL4030, and this is a really long name, version two, is a really, really nice CNC for the money. Now I've reviewed also the uh, Two Trees uh, TTC 450, and if you haven't seen that review, you can click the link up above here and go watch that. Now, if you look at, at the Two Trees CNC, that I would call an upscale hobby CNC. I would call this one, the Prover XL 4030, an entry level production or, or business. Uh, CNC and that really sets it apart and if we take a little closer look here the first thing you're going to notice is that it uses ball screws rather than standard lead screws so it's much more accurate it also uses closed loop stepper motors which you typically only find on very high-end CNC's and the z-axis on the version 2 of this product has been greatly improved and you'll find a really nice spindle at the bottom of that and in the case of, of wanting to use a router, you can replace the bracket with a 65 millimeter mount that is also included in the package and you can use your standard router. So very nice, uh, you know, out of the box, but there's also this great opportunity to do some expansion. You also get some accessories along with this. You get four clamps to hold things down, uh, a couple of packs of bits, uh, some wrenches to take bits on and off, and a Z-probe, uh, which you can use to calibrate your, your spindle. And there's also a controller box where you have the speed for the spindle, uh, some, some buttons to control the, the operation and an emergency stop, and a couple of places to plug in the probe and the USB. Flipping around back, you, you get a lot of aircraft style connectors to plug in all those wires from the, from the cabling uh, from the CNC side. And it really air, lends an air of robustness here. So uh, kudos to uh, Genmetsu for, for putting together a really nice package. So as far as software, you will need to control your, your CNC from your computer. And Saint Smart and Genmitsu provide two different packages. And we're gonna look at them here. Now, both of these tools are open source. And the first one we're gonna look at is one called Candle. I actually upgraded the version of Candle that was on the USB stick was uh, older than than this it was 117 i believe and the the current version is 1.2 so i upgraded and it works fine but i i did honestly run into some problems with candle it works pretty obviously so you can click the arrows to move things you can turn on the spindle and turn it off again uh, and you can start jobs so you could open a file and load it in here and then hit the run button and everything will work. Uh, I did run into some problems though and in the end uh, I ended up switching over to the next one and that one is called UGS or Universal G-Code Sender. Uh, I just found this one, first of all, it, it worked without running into any problems, but I also found generally the user experience was a little nicer. So I just stuck with this one. I, I'm not gonna judge tools one versus the other. Uh, I run mine on a Mac, uh, my Mac laptop, and I'm sure some of the problems I was running into in Candle were related to the fact that it, it was just on my Mac. And I'll, again, I'll talk more about that as I go, but uh, UGS just seemed to work for me. So you'll see probably more of it in the rest of this video than you will of Candle. All right, so now I'm ready to do a, a simple test. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set the, the Z value to zero and I put the probe under there and hit the initiate probe and you'll see the bit come down and touch the probe and that will determine what the zero is. Next, I wanna set the zero for the X and Y. So I'm just moving the, the, the CNC head around a bit 
and when I'm happy I can click those zero buttons and finally I'm going to load a project and Saint Smart provided a couple of simple ones here so I'll just use one of those and we're ready to go. So I'll start the CNC and run this job and it will just basically go off and do uh, engraving all of the letters that you saw in the in the file when I opened it. Uh, it's a one millimeter deep engrave which is why I can get away with three millimeter plywood here and uh, as it kind of winds down the job here uh, there's not actually going to be a whole lot to see until we clean up some of the sawdust and stuff and when I do you'll see the output here actually looks pretty nice. Now you'll also notice a couple of chip outs uh, that is was me i was cleaning the the engraving with a with a wire brush and this is really just thin grade plywood so uh, i i chipped it out a little bit because i was being you know probably a little more aggressive than i should have been but uh, the output is there but let's be honest even if you have the cheapest of cheap 3018 cnc machines you could reproduce this result you don't need anything fancy so what I wanted to do was try something that was a little more challenging. And what I came up with for a challenging project was this. I popped into VCarve and I pulled a piece of clip art that, that is in the VCarve library. If you're, if you're a VCarve user, you'll recognize this. And it's just a light bulb with a bit of a flash of light behind it. And it's a 3D contour, so it's, it's actually in a bit of a dish when, whenever it's engraved. It's about six millimeters deep. And I thought it would be an interesting challenge to see how the uh, Proverve XL supported this. But before I actually started the job, I wanted to take advantage of a feature of the spindle that's provided. And that is that it, it's an ER11 spindle, so I can actually change the collet. Now I have some very good uh, carbide bits for my uh, larger Onefinity CNC, and I wanted to use one of those and specifically a, a ball, ball ended bit just to get a nice smooth, smooth engrave. So I changed the collet and, uh, and then put that bit in, did the same kind of zeroing that I did before and started the job. Now it's just winding down here, the job and a bit of detail. This is a piece of solid maple that I had in my off cut bin. And you can see even before it's cleaned up, it looks really good. But uh, as, as it finishes here, the, the final result, uh, I did do just a bit of scraping around the outside to get rid of some of that hair. And uh, I did put some olive oil on it, but I purposely didn't sand it so you could see what the final output looks like here. And it's simply spectacular is, is the only way I could describe this. This is definitely on par with my Onefinity, which costs, uh, you know, at least three times as much. So uh, I am just crazy impressed with, with the quality of the output here. All right, so you saw the output there. And if I could describe this entire uh, Pro V XL 4030 version two in one word, it would be awesome. And kudos to Saint Smart and, and Jen Mitsu for putting this, this together. It's just a really great product. Uh, I do want to talk about overall some of the things I really like, as well as some things I think they're going to, they need to improve on. Uh, on the pro side, the design here is very solid. They used ball screws and closed loop stepper motors, which are things you typically find on CNCs that cost thousands more. Uh, so, you know, there is no match for it in this price range. Uh, speaking of price, I think it's well priced. Now I know that's a relative term based on your budget, but if you have a small shop and you're, and you're trying to kind of amp up your business, maybe making a few engraved signs or, or, or something like that, uh, this is probably a, a great CNC to consider. It's $1,400 US, which I think is a great price for what you're getting. Uh, and finally, on the pro side here, the output, as I showed you, is excellent. Uh, that light bulb that I engraved there, uh, that's uh, on, on par with my Onefinity, which costs thousands more. Uh, so, I mean, you're honestly not going to find uh, a CNC in this, in this range and this size that's going to do, do this. So, uh, again, you know, thank, thank uh, Saint Smart and Jen Mitsu for, for building this thing. Uh, now, there were a couple of things on the con side I think they could improve on. Now, I'll be honest, I'm stretching here because overall I had very little uh, issue with, with this CNC. Uh, but it does use rollers rather than linear rails on the y-axis well, and the x-axis. And that, in theory, is a bit of a, a downer. But in reality, they have six rollers on, on each 
on each rail so it's not going to be a big issue you're certainly not going to see any problems as a result it's just i think overall uh, linear rails are probably a little more solid probably a little more accurate uh, mileage may vary here but but i i prefer linear rails uh, and finally here and again i said it was a short list uh, there is no dust collection. I couldn't even find anything on, on the Saint Smart site where I could buy like an accessory after you get the CNC. So in reality, if you want dust collection, and I think it's a, ne a necessity in, in any kind of business focus shop, uh, you're going to want to design a dust shoe of some sort. So be prepared for that if, if you do buy one of these. Uh, and you know, that's kind of the list. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this, this CNC does kind of sit in between those high-end hobby, hobby CNCs like the TTC 450 from Two Trees, as well as the Onefinity. I have a, I have a woodworker Onefinity and it, it costs thousands more. Uh, at, at this price, it's about, it's about twice the price of the Two Trees uh, machine but i think there's definitely capability and features here that make it worth that price so uh if you haven't seen the onefinity review i did uh, i'll put a, a video up above here i'll also put an affiliate link in the description down below if you do want to buy one of these prover xl 4030 v v2s uh, it is a great machine and i would definitely highly recommend it so uh, with that we can wind down so as always uh, get out there make your world and i'll see you next time